wanted to show you guys, uh, kind of explain how you do this and also some of the ways, some of the things you can do with it. <clears throat> this is, of course, uh, good old splash painting. <laughs> so much fun just throwing paint on the canvas. But this is uh, three-quarter plywood. <clears throat> I found that three-quarter plywood just worked a lot better. Cheaper, too. I mean, I got lots of it. You buy one big sheet for 30 bucks, cut it up. Those you were just looking at were like about one foot square, so you get a whole lot out of it. This is a larger piece. This is probably like a half inch. No, that's three quarter ply too. The half inch ply tended to warp, so I uh, stuck with, in generally, with the uh, uh, three quarter ply. There's an example of a thicker paint. So uh, how the paint goes on, that's what I'll be telling you about here and why you get some of those crinkle effects because that is of course paint on top of paint and then they're going to have different uh, drying characteristics causing it to crack and stuff so um, that's uh, my wife really likes this one I think I call it birthday celebration something like that has some pretty creative names for them anyhow I'll take you out uh, to where the work is it's kind of spread around the house Oh, I just remembered. Here's a good one. This is actually not paint. <laughs> that is, uh, okay, you can see I put a sculpture and then a frame on top of the uh, uh, material. And that is actually, uh, what do you call it, landscaping burlap with silicone caulk on it. And I mix pigments into the caulk. Boy, I'm going to sneeze. Huh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Now this is another one. This is, um, as you can see, pure white paint. And then this particular one, I can tell you right away what it's got on it is uh, colorants mixed into uh, water-based polyurethane. I might have tried the oil-based, but uh, this stuff is not mixing very good with the paint. You can see, and that's why it's spreading out. That's why I'm getting these spreading patterns. <laughs> that I think are so intriguing compared to just your basic old uh, Andrew Pollock, uh, I think it was Andrew, splash painting. Anyhow, so this is actually one of my favorites here. In fact, the ones you just looked at, those are of course ones I like best. And then you can see this is quite different, both in color and in uh, concept. And that, I think this is one of my favorites. That's a little different too. A whole different kind of texture. And I believe that happened because when it was done, I sprayed water on top of it. It's been a while, but I think that's what I was doing. A lot of these would be uh, um, paint on top of paint. Uh, this is an early one. Here, you put it right on top of the face, and that's many, many layers of, uh, uh, gosh, I guess it would be uh, uh, the same, paint, different house paints, and uh, water-based, probably water-based uh, polyurethane on top of each other, gaining this kind of an interesting texture. It looks really, really pretty cool looking. It's really hard to photograph it, unfortunately. And then, I'll have to go outside. Let me see. Yeah, I, I did some uh, sculptures with it. So I had the sculptures. The 3D ones are really hard to do because when you got it on the board and you got all that wet paint, I mean, it's all wet. One right on top of the other, still wet, and you can roll it around. So you can see what was happening here is I'd, uh, for example, that was definitely, you know, paint was placed here and then the sculpture was turned and it rocked that away. And then that's why you got the, the leakage patterns going up into the uh, lower place, you know, when this thing's laid out flat. Oh, and then I also did, of course, some smaller ones. So this kind of cracking again would be caused by uh, probably by you know thick paint and then uh, 
different kinds of stuff all mixed in together, causing cracking. But I kind of like this one. I think a lot of people like this one. It's a little different. I'll give you an idea. Uh, here it is in basic gold paint. And this one I think got casted with some resin and then plaster, so that's why you got the cracking. Looks like very common in uh, resin. Hope that whole thing doesn't just fall off because it's kind of glued to a board. That'd be a pain. And now the big sculpture there is actually the exact same face. Same face as you've been seeing, except for that one's actually in gold leaf. And that whole poor statue needs repair. So, you know, I had these copies, exact same face here. And all the, the big faces you just saw all came out of the same mold, although they look quite different. So this one would have been, uh, again, you know, put the white paint on. I like white or sort of gray, sometimes blue, house paint, and I found that the uh, semi-gloss was best, and people throw it away. So I had all kinds of paint right out of the trash, all kinds of gallons of it. And I put it on wet, put the, uh, um, you know, uh, spray. I think I use spray bottles sometimes to spread it out and sometimes I just dip the brush in and splash it. So that yellow you see there is definitely from a splash. And actually it's been a while, <laughs> like four years. So <laughs> me trying to tell you exactly how I did it, you know, is kind of uh, maybe would have been better years ago. In fact, this guy came by and he says, you know, he watched me doing it and the way these patterns develop that was the really fascinating part because you know the paint will go down under the white paint and stay hidden and then then the whole picture will come out and then when you're rolling it it's another thing it's real just truly uh, i mean a 2d 3d experience well 3d including time you know time being the third dimension so some of them i didn't really like too much uh, and it looks like the uh, plaster, I put plaster on the board first to smooth it out and that kind of came off. So there's probably better ways of doing that. This sculpture I always liked. I got a big uh, picture of that face there on my uh, web page. I'll take you back and show you a few things in the backyard. And then uh, these are probably most of my good ones. I was only getting about one out of three that I liked at the most. So they got repainted, a lot of them got repainted. A lot of them are still in a stack because they're not too horrible enough to throw away. Just not that good. So I hope I've covered everything, pretty much of everything. This, uh, of course, was a table. It was in the trash. It was looking good. I painted that and then I gave it a few coats of polyurethane. It's been surviving. And then uh, I mounted a smaller sculpture, poor guy, had his arm broken <laughs> a couple places. And then had this circle left over for a mold for bending wood. Then uh, here's another face out of the same mold. And that little partial face too, that's what's left over of one that got completely busted up. This is an example of a found object that got painted, and it's kind of interesting, and the paint did stick to, but probably was polyurethane finish on the uh, cabinet face that I uh, probably took out of a job because I do remodeling. Sometimes people throw them away. Oh, this is kind of interesting. <laughs> this is what we call, what do we call that? We call that drywall splash art. You <laughs> get your leftover drywall, uh, mud and you throw rocks at it and it looks kind of like mud and then I went ahead and painted it so it's kind of, kind of different. Okay, and then uh, these three part faces up here. Uh, see the screws to the right there? Well, this one here came off. I <laughs> just didn't have enough stuff holding her up. Had it hung wrong and it does weigh about 90 pounds. So it's kind of a nuisance trying to get them up there. And uh, here's another little lady. Maybe we'll sign off on that one. I got all these sculptures around the yard. Got to put them somewhere, right? So once again, you know, you're looking at uh, uh, splat, basic splash painting, but the, per the thing is if you get the 
the base coat of a white, and I did prefer white or blue. Uh, oh, that poor sculpture. <laughs> her hair fell down over her head. Uh, that one's looking a little better. Here, we'll show you that one. So, uh, and then there's different methods you can dab. The first one I showed you there, you can actually dab the uh, a brush into it. The very first painting you saw. Uh, I, di I didn't do that a whole lot, just sometimes. And that got that effect, like kind of a Japanese landscape effect. And then there's a lot of other effects, including, like it says, you can spray water. And that kind of mutes it all out, too. There's a lot of neat stuff you can figure out if you just think about it. And I hope you have a good time doing your abstract paintings. And it was kind of fun making this movie on a Sunday afternoon. So I'll talk to you guys again. Bye-bye.